Hey there, it's Jimmy again, and I'm here with another video. This one, I don't know why I didn't shoot this the first time around, but this uh, 91 Mercury Sable is just about headed to the crusher. It'll be gone in the next day or two, which is unfortunate. I think I already had a video of an 86 Sable sedan, so that's why I didn't think to do the wagon. But anyway, here we are, and this is a great opportunity. So if you like what you see, please do hit subscribe and like. If you have any questions, ask them. But parts on this one will not be available anymore, and I don't sell parts anyway. I just make the videos. Uh, but that seems to be a common recurring question. How do I get parts for this? But uh, anyway, let's check this bad boy out. This is the last year, I believe, of the first generation, well, Sable, which is the Mercury version of the Taurus, right? And this one came in, uh, what is it now? It's now mid-October. So this came in here last November, and remarkably, it's still pretty complete. So let's, uh, let's take a quick walk around and check this bad boy out. So like I said, it's a 91. It's obviously an up-level one. It's got the nice bigger alloys there, the 15 inches, the cross spokes. The Sable, of course, had the very cool light bar, which is still here. Uh, a little moisture inside this headlight, and someone took the Sable logo. I doubt the Sable logo still lights up, but it definitely used to when it was brand new. The bumper's pretty cool with the recessed uh, or embossed mercury right there and these little vent louvery looking things. Obviously front headlight deal. This, uh, I think the hood's got to be the same as the Taurus. Fenders, I think, are the same too. Obviously, it's mainly trim differences between the Taurus and the Sable. But um, let's go around to the driver's side here. Obviously, the 86 uh, Taurus and Sable, uh, you know, until 91, was uh, Ford's, uh, you know, real aero uh, program. Uh, you know, it really got the aero thing going for Ford. Obviously, they had the Ford Sierra in Europe. Uh, the Tempo Topaz was a little arrow before, so was the 83 Thunderbird. But this really cemented it and got it going within the minds of the American public. Never mind that it's kind of a blatant ripoff of an Audi 100 dating back to 1981. But that's okay. Ford did a pretty good job with the uh, styling on this. So let's see what else we have here. This one, like I said, is preloaded. It's got the little magic uh, the key opener button thingies that Ford's uh, famous for. Um, lots of side cladding there. There's a gold color. I'm not sure what name this gold color is. One of you guys know? I'm sure someone does. And a pretty long rear area. The back is cool. The flush glass was obviously a big deal back in the day, all the way around, especially the rear hatch here. Very nice. Got the taillights that go up and down. It's beautiful. Mercury Sable LS there in the uh, kind of a sticker deal in the back, bottom of the tailgate. And then what else? This one has a obviously high mounted uh, brake light. Got the full roof rack set up, which is nice, with the crossbars. And uh, obviously the marker lights and so on. This one's in actually quite good shape. It's got a scrape here that was, you know, probably one of the reasons it's in the yard or may have come in that way. You never know. Or, I mean, may have come in that way or may have happened in the yard is what I mean. Proudly assembled the USA. Nice, let's check out, uh, let's check out under the hood first. And then we'll go inside and we'll look at the trunk area too, okay? So it's, oh, hood's already popped. Hood struts are no longer working well. It just takes my own little hood, hood strut here. Sun's out, gun's out. So here we have the 3.8 liter fuel injected V6. Not bad, this is as powerful as I got for this year. Um, too bad there was never an SHO show wagon. That would have been awesome, especially with a stick shift, right? But wow, it's packed in there pretty tight. Alternator looks, uh, well, the alternator looks like the newest thing in the engine bay. So, Maybe this had some kind of a charging issue towards the end of its life. Uh, who knows? Or just cascading set of failures. You never really know. Battery was way up here in the front corner. And uh, obviously strut suspension. Yeah, pretty complete. This was, I remember Ford made a big deal about this. Washer fluid only. There's a, you know, with the yellow writing on there. The yellow writing on radiator coolant only. Engine oil, yellow marking on the engine oil dipstick. Everything that an owner would have to uh, potentially deal with themselves or could deal with themselves easily was marked in yellow. Easily accessible, easy to, to check out and look at. A nice big piece of sound deadening here. There was a light there, which is gone. It's one of the few things that's gone on this car. And uh, yeah, then you got various little warnings and how the belts go and so on and so forth here. So let's, uh, let's go around the back and see what we have. This thing is in really good shape, actually. A little faded on the paint, but not, not terrible. You could uh, use your key here to open the gate or open the glass. So this uh, glass section open, popped open separately, which is really nice when you're carrying long loads. Oh, 
struts are dead on this on the back here also so this is cool so let's see someone did take this which is where i think the space saver tire would have been so someone took the cover and then here you would have had the extra seat if it was so equipped so let's lift it up okay that goes up but that's is it locked in place it doesn't seem to go up again there is a seat though interesting somehow this is latched i can't figure out how to unlatch it that's a bummer oh wait is that it yeah there we go there is your rear facing seat with seat belts the latch was right there i just hadn't seen it earlier so yeah you could get more of the youngins in here facing backwards getting car sick lots of windows probably heated up pretty well back here there's no separate vents but there are speakers back here which is kind of nice and light I like that no headrests for anybody in the back so I guess they'll be knocking heads against each other, but so be it. Vinyl covering there on the seat for the for the third seat, but that's that's all right too. So, yeah, pretty spacious area actually. Not particularly square like a Volvo would be, but sort of bulbous and would hold a lot of squishy stuff like sleeping bags and tents and so forth. Pretty nice, but man, look at that. I mean, fully trimmed out, carpeted here on the inside, grab handle. That's not terrible, as I like to say. Let's take a look at the inside. Let's uh, start with the rear. Okay, rear seat cushion's gone. That's probably someone in the yard using it. To, they took it, dragged it away, and put it underneath a different car to try and maybe get something from under the car so they're not laying in the dirt. It's got a velour backrest here. Nice tan velour, pretty nice. Door panel's got wood trim on the top, power windows, ashtrays in the back seat. Remember that? And there's gum wrappers from decades old voyages probably got the chrome opener very nice carpet here soft velour here soft here soft here a little hard up here though interesting and then the seats both seats are fully trimmed in velour on the back with pockets which is very nice and let's check out the front seat oh yeah the front door panel is basically reverse of the back one except you've got door locks here you've got the window Ford premium sound another grab handle I guess that's the only way yeah that's the grab handle to close the door got this little wood cap pretty nice power seats with a lumbar and the passenger that's the one two three four five six seven eight nine eight way seat and you can move the backrest also so that's pretty cool got vents right here in front of you sharp big glove box yeah, this is pretty nice. Did you have, yeah, you had armrests here, individual armrests for the driver and passenger. That's beautiful. Let's go around to the driver's side and take a look and see if we can check out the odometer and uh, what else we can suss out from checking out. So yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Airbag equipped for the driver, driver only. Got the cruise controls, nice wood grain uh, instrument cluster there. And then you had a full instrument cluster. That's not bad. So you got fuel temp, speedometer only up to 85 miles an hour though and uh, rpm gauge up to red lines at 5400 5300 unleaded fuel only and this one is only a five digit odometer so it says 10301 i assume it's gone around at least once to 110 maybe even twice probably twice to 210 who knows here you had a little trip computer vent rear washer wiper antenna up down ac obviously this is nice. This thing is pretty fully equipped. The radio would have been down here, and actually there's a few radios laying on the seat. So maybe he has his Ford. So that was the Ford tape deck, I guess. And here's a Kenwood deck. I don't know what that's from. Maybe from something else. Who knows? But it's not bad. This is a fuel filler release. Kind of they picked that up from the Japanese. I used to do this all the time. We did we still do that all the time. And uh, dimmer for the lighting. Brake release, parking brake is a, a pedal, hood release, and accelerating brake, obviously. Yeah, this is, man, this is pretty equipped. I mean, these seats are nice. Velour, held up well. Everything's power again on this side. Can we find a VIN sticker? Yeah, here we go. Here's the VIN. Manufactured by Ford Motor Company, USA, February 1991. So, and I think these were built mainly down in Georgia. Is that right? Atlanta? So anyway, there is a van if anyone wants to look this one up. Or if anyone has a free Carfax account, maybe post that, up to you. But yeah, gotta like this. I do like this Mercury Sable. These are 
dying breed. You don't see many more of this. Door does not want to latch. Yeah, this is all busted. That must have happened here. But um, yeah, it's remarkable. This bad boy is still here. No one took it. No one took much off of it. So anyway, if you liked what you watched, please do hit subscribe and like. And I know I haven't made any of these in a while, but maybe I'll get back into it. Who knows? But yeah, thank you very much for watching. And uh, this is kind of the last room for this 91 Mercury Sable Wagon. Thank you. Bye-bye.